In this video, we will explore the world of nano tanks. From many jungles to ancient lava beds, venomous predators to prey, adapting to survive. You don't need a big tank to create an ecosystem. This is nano tanks. The first tank was sent to us by Nanonariums. This kit comes with fresh moss, a piece of driftwood, and some substrate. I'll start by putting a drainage layer using gravel from outside. Then cover that with the substrate. The kit also comes with some shears. Next, I place the driftwood in. It didn't quite fit, so I had to break it. Now it's time to plant the moss. My idea is to create a mini forest around a fallen dead tree, where the tree's death is creating life. I then place some small rocks I found outside. I crushed up some homemade carbon to place in the substrate. This will provide nutrients for both the plants and the animals, along with these dead leaves. And a mini pine cone to seal the deal. It's now time to add our friends. Isopods. Or if you want to sound really cool, roly polies. These guys alone will keep this mini ecosystem alive. This next tank will be made from a shadow box. To build the background, I'll secure some driftwood using spray foam. I'll also use this same technique on the foreground. I then cover the foam with brown silicone and spread it into every crevice. Crunch up some leaves then cover the whole thing with dry soil. I use super glue to attach frog moss to the background. I drill two holes on top for food and water access and it also provides light. I glued this green strip light to the ceiling, but you can also use these candle lights. Now the creature going in here is one of the most venomous spiders on earth. The daddy long leg. He will spend his entire life clinging to the ceiling in a dark corner, waiting on his prey. Now this tank is another complete setup from Nanonariums. Check out their website, I'll put a link in the description. They have some cool stuff. This one comes with clay balls for the drainage layer and coca fiber for the substrate, as well as these cool rocks. My idea for this one is to create an ecosystem surrounding a moss tree to bring elevation into the equation. To do this, I cut a branch off my tree from outside and glued it together until I got the desired look.
I then glued moss to the ends of the branches. A tree like this will only survive in a humid, wet, enclosed container, completely separated from the outside world. Our humble resident is this guy, which I think is a baby black widow. Comment down below what you think this is. She has the same markings as an adult. One week in this tank and she either molted or ate this other spider that somehow got in here. Regardless, this is the perfect environment for her to grow. This is a cookie jar from the Dollar Tree. It costs $1.25, making this my cheapest nano tank I've done yet. There's also plenty of room to really get creative. My vision is a million year old lava field that is sprouting new life as it becomes a forest. It will be home to isopods and cockroaches. This little guy already found a bed for the night. This is a one gallon tank from PetSmart and we are gonna make a mini desert. I start by adding sand and shaping it to be higher in the back. This rock will make a small cave for creatures to hide under it. I then spent an hour planting cacti and then removing them and planting them again. I wanted the perfect look and I wanted it to be functional. This type of terrain can only be home to one creature. A creature so fierce, it has to live its entire life alone. The Death Stalker. With his fast reflexes and extremely venomous sting, he is an apex predator. And on this day, he invited some friends over for dinner. Crickets. They waste no time checking out his cool pad. Crickets are also really dumb or really brave. I haven't been able to tell the difference yet. He taunts the scorpion by slapping him in the face over and over and over again. It was at this moment he realized, this thing can eat me. And he runs for his life. Using the cacti for protection, he climbs to the top. Up here, he's safe. Or so he thought. He quickly retreats and for good reason. Scorpions are great climbers and he will live to see another day, hour, another hour. But wait, I forgot to make a nano aquarium. So sit back and enjoy.
Thank <laughs> you. 